Another way to write the query is select employee number, employee name, job, salary from employee where not job equals salesman is as follows. Select employee number, employee name, job, salary from employee where job not equal to salesman. Retrieving from a list of values. An alternative solution to the previous or example is provided by a variant on the syntax of the WHERE clause in which we can search for values contained in a specified list. This form of the WHERE clause is as follows. WHERE attribute in item 1, item 2, item n. Using this syntax, the previous query would be rewritten as follows. Select employee number, employee name, department number. From employee where department number in 10, 20. The result of the query is just the same, but in many cases, this form of the WHERE clause is both shorter and simpler to use. Querying over a range of values. The between keyword can be used in a WHERE clause to test whether a value falls within a certain range. The general form of the WHERE clause using the between keyword is where attribute between value 1 and value 2. The operands value 1 and value 2 can either be literals like 1000 or expressions referring to attributes. Note THAT the between operator is inclusive. In general, the solution using between is preferable since it is more readable. It is clearer to a human reading the SQL query code what condition is being evaluated. Searching for partial matches. All of the queries we have seen so far have been to retrieve exact matches from the database. The like keyword allows us to search for items for which we only know a part of the value. The like keyword in SQL literally means is approximately equal to or is a partial match with. The keyword like is used in conjunction with two special characters which can be used as wildcard matches. In other words, like expressions can be used to identify the fact that we do not know precisely what a part of the retrieved value is. Search for words beginning with a certain letter. As an example, we can search for all employees whose name begins with the letter S as follows. Select employee number, employee name. From employee, where employee name like S percent. Here the percentage sign is used as a wild card to say that we do not know or do not wish to specify the rest of the value of the employee name attribute. The only criteria we are specifying is that it begins with S and may be followed by none, one or more than one other characters. The percentage sign can be used at the beginning or end of a character string and can be used as a wild card for any number of characters. The other character that can be used as a wild card is the underline character. This character is used as a wild card for only one character per instance of the underline character. That is, if we could. Where employee name like S underline. The query will return employees whose names start with S and have precisely two further characters after the S. So, employees called Sun or Shah would be returned, but employee names such as Smith or Salt would not as they do not contain exactly three characters. Note that we can combine conditions using between or like with other conditions such as simple tests on salary etc. by use of the keywords and and or just as we can combine simple conditions. However, wildcard characters cannot be used to specify members of a list with the in keyword. Data can very easily be sorted into different orders in SQL. We use the order by clause. This clause is optional and when required appears as the last clause in a query. The order by keywords are followed by the attribute or attributes on which the data is to be sorted. If the sort is to be done on more than one attribute, the attributes are separated by commas. Examples The general form of an SQL query with the optional where and order by clauses looks as follows. 
select select list from table list where condition 1 and or condition 2 condition n order by attribute list an example would be to sort the departments into department number order select department number department name from department order by department number or into alphabetical order of the name of the department select department number department name from department order by department name descending order SQL provides the keyword DESC to request sorting in the reverse order. So, to sort the departments into reverse alphabetical order, we can write the following. Select department number, department name. From department. Order by department name DESC. A sort within a sort. It is very easy to specify a sort within a sort, that is, to first sort a set of records into one order, and then, within each group, to sort again, by another attribute. For example the following query will sort employees, into department number order, and within that, into employee name order. Select employee number, employee name, department number. From employee. Order by employee number, employee name. The result of this query is in the diagram, below. As can be seen, the records have been sorted into order of department number first, and then, for each department number, the records have been sorted alphabetically by employee name. When a query includes an order by clause, the data is sorted as follows. Any null values appear first in the sort. Numbers are sorted into ascending numeric order. Character data is sorted into alphabetical order. Dates are sorted into chronological order. We can include an order by clause with the where clause, as in the following example, which lists all salesman employees in ascending order of salary. Select employee number, employee name, job, salaries. From employee, where job equals salesman. Order by salaries. In the unit, Introducing the Relational Model, we discuss the fact that null values represent the absence of any actual value, and that it is correct to refer to an attribute being set to null, rather than being equal to null. The syntax of testing for null values in a WHERE clause reflects this. Rather than coding WHERE X equals null, we write WHERE X is null, or WHERE X is not null. Where clause is using is null and is not null. For example, to return all employees who do not receive a commission, the query would be select employee number, employee name, salary. From employee, where commission is null. We can also select records that do not have null values. Select employee number, employee name, salary, commission. From employee, where commission is not null. There is an extremely useful function available for the handling of nulls in query results. It is important to remember the null is not the same as, say, zero for a numeric attribute. This is the NVL function, which can be used to substitute other values in place of nulls in the results of queries. This may be required for a number of reasons. By default, arithmetic and aggregate functions ignore null values in query results. Sometimes this is what is required, but at other times we might explicitly wish to consider a null in a numeric column as actually representing the value 0 for example. We may wish to replace a null value, which will appear as a blank column in the displayed results of a query with a more explicit indication that there was no value for that column instance. The format of the NVL function is NVL column value. Column is the attribute in which nulls are to be replaced, and value is the substitute value. Examples of using the NVL function. An example of using NVL to treat all employees with null commissions as if it had zero commission. NVL commission zero. 
to display the word unassigned wherever a null value is retrieved from the job attribute. And VL, job unassigned. SQL provides a wide range of functions to perform manipulations on data during the execution of queries. These functions can be categorized into four types. Arithmetic functions, character functions, date functions, aggregate functions. The functions are used as part of a select list of a query, or, if they refer to a specific row, they may be used in a WHERE clause. They are used to modify the values, or, format of data being retrieved. Arithmetic functions The most commonly used arithmetic functions are as follows. Greatest, least, round, trunk, ABS, signs, mod, sort, to char, decode. Click for further details. The most commonly used character string functions are as follows. String 1, string 2, decode, distinct, length, substra, instra, upper, lower, to number, to date. Click for further details. Date functions. The date functions in most commercially available database systems are quite rich, reflecting the fact that many commercial applications are very date driven. The most commonly used date functions in SQL are as follows Sysdate, add months, months between, last day, next day, round, trunk, decode, to char. Click for further detail. Aggregate functions. All of the aggregate functions below operate on a number of rows. Ovc, sum, min, max, count, variance, stddev. Click for further details. 